Hola, this is Yvette. Thank you for, for joining me for this watercolor painting tutorial. I'm so happy that you are here. And today's video, I will share with you all how I paint these nine wildflowers or spring flowers. It's a very loose way to paint this flower that I wanna share with you all. Um, this is a real-time step-by-step tutorial. So if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And if you like these videos, uh, give me a big favor and like this video and make a comment like that. YouTube will be sharing to more people. And this is just a few ways for you guys to share, to help me to serve to others. Okay, so let's grab our paint and let's start dive in. If you are here, I would love to hear from you. Just say hello, I am here, Yvette. Like that I know I am not uh, alone in the room. So uh, this is the idea. I, I, I have two samples that I wanna share with you today. This was my first sample, just to start like a practicing and the colors and how is the best way for me to, to explain to you guys. And then this is the second one that I did. There are different types of watercolor paper. Uh, I totally recommend you to use uh, 300 grams at minimum to have a better results. And I will be sharing with you which brushes I use and which uh, paints I use uh, while I'm going to be doing it, okay? So let me put aside this. And this is the watercolor paper that I'm going to be using. I'm just moving a little bit my paper. This is a, a new watercolor paper that I have been uh, experiment. It's, it's good. Uh, I like uh, that it has 300 grams. It's cold press, it's jumbo. So I have a bunch of paper that I had, that I had a chance to be like a practicing without feeling that I am going to be missing something. It's acid free and it's, it has a, a good side. So let me just move this part. And I have here my, my paper. And I'm going to be uh, checking your comments here and there. Hi, Chris. Hi, Janie. Good to see you here. Thank you for coming. I hope you guys are having a good time. So I have my HB uh, mechanical pencil. And what you can do is just to make like a grid that we're not going to be using actually the lines, but we're going to have these boxes where you can uh, put your paint in each of the boxes. So you can use your ruler if you want to have something very precise or you can just, just use your pinky and just trace kind of, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make one line here and I'm going to be erasing at the end these lines because we're not going to be using it. And then I'm going to flip my page. And then I need to have another three, three lines, three rows. So I just want to check. I'm using my pencil just to have kind of the same area. Okay. Of course, you can use your ruler, but it's going to take us longer, okay? So now that I have my grid, I know that in each of the boxes, I'm going to be adding one flower, okay? So let me just erase this extra line. So tell me, are you going to be painting along with me? This, this video is going to stay in my YouTube channel forever and ever, so... This is a surprise that I have for you. So you can come back anytime to watch it and to try it, okay? So the most of the, the flowers that I did are more like freehand, so I, we don't need to sketch it. And maybe the Kala Lily is the only one that I need to sketch a little bit the petals but the rest are, are going to be just very simple uh, stroke that we're going to be working and for that i'm going to be um doing a zoom in okay so let me check on you hi lydia good to see you here 
So for the brushes, we're going to use the present tone number 12 is a round. Then I have number six. Then I have a number two. And then I have my liner beautiful that I love. It's uh, the same present tone, velvet touch, and is 18 slash zero. It's like a very light, very thin. It's the liner or script, okay? For the paintings, I'm going to be sharing with you while I'm going to be painting, okay? So let's start by painting the daisy, okay? And for that, I want to do a zoom in of the, the area that I'm going to be working because I want you guys to be able to see it super good like zoom in let me just move a little bit my page we're going to be working this this square okay so for that uh, i want to be using the pink so i have my pink that is my permanent pink okay permanent rose and i'm going to add a little bit of this color into my palette this is a plate a sushi plate it's better than my regular palettes and then I, I want to add a little bit of my orange. And for the orange, I have a cadmium yellow orange. Let me just move a little bit. There you go. This is real time, guys. So this is the way it is when I am doing a stream live video. And then I want to grab a little bit of my burnt amber. Something that I learned through the years is better to collect colors than to collect brands. Because um, you are going to be experimenting with different brands until you will find the exactly color that you are looking for. And it can be different brand. So that's why I don't share more brands, I share colors, okay? For the stems, I have my hooker's green and I have my permanent green. Do, 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 let me look for my permanent green. I have here my permanent green that is the sap green and the hooker's green, okay? So let's add a little bit at a time. Okay, and now the brush that I'm going to be using is going to be my number six, round number six. I have my two glasses of water, one to clean the dirty brushes and the another one to have clean water to mix with the paints. Also, it's good to have a little, like a little spray like this with clean water to spray your, your paints, okay? So the first thing I want to be doing is adding a little bit of water into my pink, my rose, because I want to have a light transparent pink. I have here my square and I'm going to start by applying some petals. So this is the way I'm going to be doing. Push and release and I'm going to start adding more and more petals okay it looks like a star right then i'm going to grab a little bit of my pink with less water and i'm going to go in the tip of each of the petals and i'm going to be touching it like this i'm going to clean my brush and i'm going to swap a little bit of the paint that it is in the middle i'm going to clean my brush and then i want to grab my orange and i'm going to touch 
the center of the flower. Okay, so I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to just to move a little bit the dark pink And while it still is wet, you can come back and add more color. So let's add more of the pink, dark pink. Something that I noticed is that when I have my air condition on, the paints get dry faster. I'm going to clean my brush and touch again the orange a little dot and I'm going to leave it alone okay so the next I'm going to be doing the same first light pink and the next one is going to be here so I'm going to add some petals then straight pink in the tip of each of the petals. I'm going to clean my brush. Clean my brush, grab some of the orange. I'm going to add some of the orange here. Okay. My next is going to be some bots, light pink again, and the one is going to be here. Grab dark pink, going to make another. Let's do another one here, two. and three dark pink okay clean my brush now i'm going to move to my liner i'm going to add some water into the green and here we have a little water so, okay so i'm going to grab my permanent green before this is dry And I'm going to touch the bottom. And I'm going to make some stems. A little bit more water. I'm here very careful when I am connecting the stems okay so I'm going to change for number two I'm going to grab some of the sap green again and I want to make some light leaves so I'm going to just flip a little bit my page so I'm going to be just touching pushing and release okay I'm going to grab a little bit of the color of the paint just to have here in the bottom more color. So load my brush and touch, press and release and in the bottom. Always is good to work odd numbers. So let's paint these three leaves. Okay, and we can come back later 
to define more the center but first we need to wait this to get dry okay so let's move to the next that is going to be in this square and it's going to be our poppy yellow poppy for that i'm going to be using my cadmium yellow you can even move a little bit this like that you can keep watching there you go let's add a little bit of the yellow here in the area where the orange is and let me show you a bigger picture of what we're going to be doing so this is our poppy and we're going to start uh, painting from the top to the bottom the base is going to be our yellow and then we're going to have some orange this part we're going to leave some areas like here with no paint okay so we're going to be working petal by petal then i'm going to be using again my permanent green but this time i'm going to be adding a little bit of the hawker's green and at the end when it's dry we're going to be adding some green and some of the burnt amber okay okay so for that i'm going to still using my number two round number two i'm going to add clean water to the yellow paint and i'm going to start first painting the first petal okay i'm going to grab a little bit of the orange and i want to touch in the bottom clean my brush and I want to move to my liner grab some of the green permanent green again touch in the bottom and then go straight Then I'm going to grab a little bit of the hawker's green, a little bit in the bottom, and if the paint is not moving, add a little bit of water to your brush and add water into the page. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my number two, and while this is a drying. I'm going to start a new one because here we need another two petals okay you can let me show you you can paint it but without touching this one so this is the way so come close let me just clean very well my brush because it looks a little orangey come close but do not touch it okay You can touch the area where the orange is because we want to mix this orange. Okay, clean your brush, clean water, yellow again. And the next one, come close, but do not touch it. A little bit of orange just to connect all these parts okay so we have the first flower so now I'm going to load with a clean brush and we're going to be painting another open flower here so let's start to paint the first petal Then the second one and here I want you to notice that I am leaving some white areas of the paper okay so now I'm going to touch a little bit of the orange and I want to go in the top of the petals 
just give a little touches and allowing the watercolor to mix okay clean my brush I'm going to grab my sap green and I want to add a little dot in the center and I'm going to leave the paint just to move I'm going to grab my liner again some of the sap green very soft and gentle okay I'm going to go back to my number two just a little bit here of the hawker screen okay I'm going to grab again sub green I'm going to make this leaf so push and release And I'm going to be building this leaf like this. I can go back to my liner and use a little bit of this dark green. And again, if your watercolor is not moving, just grab some water and just move the color. Just I want to show the two greens and the leaf. Okay, so let's clean the brush, grab some yellow again and we're going to move to the next flower that is going to be here so i'm going to start with this first petal and i'm going to add a little bit of the orange i'm going to grab more yellow each time i change color I am cleaning my my brush okay I'm going to come close and I'm going to leave some areas with no paint a little bit of orange yellow again and another one here Still is wet, so I can add more orange on the tip of the petals. Now I'm going to clean my brush and grab some of the green, sap green, and I want to add a big, not big, like a little green area here to connect this part and go down. A little bit of the sap green is in this part and I'm going to leave it alone so with the same brush I can add a bud so let's add the stem then a little bud here everything with the sap green and I'm going to grab a little bit of my hooker green very soft and gentle okay so we can add more of these leaves or you can leave it like that just I want to add some little like 
let's see that imagine that there are some leaves that are going to start like coming out so you you see the little pieces mm -hmm. we're going to come back to finish the center part but we can move to the next one so let me check your comments so far so good thank you okay good so now let's move to the lavender for the lavender we have a word purple going to add a little bit to the purple here and I'm going to move my paper right there okay and again for la for the brushes I'm liking to use a number two and also I want to add some blue and the blue that I have is the ultramarine and as I want to have a violet I want to add a little bit of red in front of the purple just to make my violet okay so so for the lavender we need to like make this type of like three three petals at the same time and like build your flower from the top to the bottom okay let's do it so i'm going to grab clean water to the purple and i want to just add a little bit into my brush to have like a lighter color and let's start here okay so from the top is push and release it's like a little drop and then grab a little bit of your darker purple and touch in the bottom okay if it's too much just swap a little bit the color this what we can do when it still is wet okay let's do another one okay like color like a drop let's do another one here and when it still is wet touch a little bit your darker purple and in the bottom like this okay we're going to keep building the flower adding like a little drops you can even grab some of the blue and touch a little bit of the blue here and there these are more like a loose flowers that mean it's more the idea that the shape so let's keep adding more flowers i'm going to add one here one is facing down touch the purple to 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 clean my brush I'm gonna even grab a little bit of the blue okay I'm going to add another one one two a complete maybe complete flower here look at this In my brush I want to add a little bit of the blue okay let's keep moving with the lightest purple so last one from this part very simple when I start a new one here so just a little bit and remember that the watercolor is going to dry lighter so 
If you feel, oh, it's too heavy, don't worry. You will see as soon as it's dry, it's going to be different. Let me add a little bit of the blue. Forget a little bit here and a little bit here. Keep moving. And another one here. So the pearls need to be separate between the like the groups because there is where we're going to be adding some of the cream. more light purple and I want to add another one here a little bit of the blue as well So the next is going to be here, this part. So we're going to start with adding like a tiny dot and start moving to the bottom. And more of the purple, straight purple with less water. And a little bit of the blue. Bigger flower towards the bottom. Oops, sorry. We have here a little accident for the violet. It's okay because we're going to be adding violet later. You know, have you heard about the happy accident? Well, yes, when you're painting, when you're making art, you will have happy accidents. The idea is to keep working and do not feel like uh, you need to be doing like uh, the perfect paint. With time and practice, the perfect paint is going to come. Okay. So I can revisit here, like if I am missing something. Also here. So now we need to wait this to get dry, but for that uh, we can uh, wait because I don't want to be using the hair dryer, okay? So now grab with your liner some of your sap cream. And what I'm going to be doing is very soft going through the flowers. to add the steam and if you touch a little bit the purple you will notice how beautiful it looks here I'm going to divide the steam in two and then here again in one and I'm going I am allowing the green to connect with the purple Here 
here we have a separately so let's start adding some stems going to go back to use my number two to paint some leaves these leaves are long and pointed so let's start adding one here I'm going to go back with the same color giving a little like movement to this leaf mm -hmm. going to move a little bit the page just to have the correct angle and you can even change the direction of the leaf just to give more movement to the leaves and as I told you before it's good to have odd numbers just adding a little bit of my hawker screen here and I am just moving the watercolor because I don't want to have the broccoli effect So yes, so we can revisit and decide if you want to add more purple, but now I'm going to be mixing my red to have some like violet and these are already dry so I can come back and add some of this violet. here and there by adding this color you are making like a two more like a crane more volume into the flowers okay so we have we can come back to the yellow one I'm going to be using my round number two and I'm going to load a little bit and we have here the amber I'm going to grab a little bit of the burnt amber I'm adding water and with the tip of my brush I'm going to come back and add some pistols just simple very simple so I'm going to grab again some of the 
brown and now I'm going to come back here and add some of the pistols simple I want to make this simple so now that I'm checking this flower I want to grab a little bit of my green my sub green with water and I want to add a little bit like lines in the buds something like this a little bit okay so now we're going to be working the cala lily and this one I'm going to be using just my pencil you see how I'm going to be I'm going to be dividing the flower so far so good okay let's keep moving then so I want to have three, of course. So the biggest one is going to be here and then small one and then other one. So my big biggest one is going to be here. So I want to trace it first. The second one is going to be in this part. You can pause the video as soon as I like publish and you can um, follow this drawing so the, the, I, I want to change like the direction I don't want to have the same as this one And here we have a beautiful big lips. I just erase this one. So I have my label eraser just to soft the line. This is a great eraser to peel the graphite and to make the lines as much as you can transparent. Hope you can see the lines and for this I'm going to be working separately like I'm going to divide the flower so first I'm going to be using my light purple I'm going to add water 
I have a very light purple here and first I'm going to be adding purple, light purple in this part now that it still is wet I want to add in the bottom some of the medium purple clean my brush just add clean water here just to have a little bit the color to move okay so now I'm going to be painting the right one again with light purple this time the darker part needs to be in the top clean your brush I'm going to be adding some water this part needs to be the lightest part okay now this guy so again load your brush with the light purple I'm cleaning the, the excess of the paint this part needs to be lighter I'm going to grab a little bit of the purple and add darker purple, not middle purple in this part clean my brush okay so while we wait this to get dry we can paint the leaves so sap green more water a little bit of the hawker screen in the bottom I'm going to clean the excess of the paint of my brush I'm just going to move the paint like this okay clean the brush load it with the sap green again we have another one here. I'm going to load my water into my brush. Hawker screen in the bottom. Clean the excess of the water of your brush and just revisit the hawker screen. Clean, load the brush with the light green, clean water, hawker screen, I'm going to clean my brush, grab clean water to move just this paint. I'm going to wait this to get dry. These are ready. So I'm going to clean my brush. Grab the lightest purple again. And I'm going to start with the left. Just a light purple here. And then I'm going to grab my medium color because this part needs to be darker, like the shadow. I'll come close enough. Clean my brush, clean water. And I'm moving the paint now. Okay, with my liner, grab some of the green, 
sub green and the pattern leave it alone that it's okay if they get move okay now let's paint it this one so for this one let me yes it's dry so grab again some light purple and this flower has one part two parts three parts that were missing so we're going to start with this one same light purple clean my brush I'm just moving the paint okay so for this one is like a folding so I'm going to grab the middle purple grab a little more of the same color but with less water because I want this tip to be darker like this Okay, I'm going to clean my brush, take out the excess of the water, just move a little bit of paint. Okay, so now I need to wait these two parts to get dry to keep moving to this area. But this one we can move now. I'm going to add a little bit of the light purple again. To clean my brush I'm going to move the color in this part just with water I'm just adding water and swapping the color mm -hmm. I'm going to grab a little bit of the darker purple again and I want to add in the, the tip In my brush take out the excess of the water and move the paint like this a little bit more okay grab your liner some green touch the button and it's okay that it start like blending and then add the steam okay okay good so let's see let's give a little more time so I'm going to grab with my liner some of the hawker screen load your brush it's, I add water so it's not very like strong color and I want to add some lines in the lips try to make it like very thin and close as close as you can but leave a line in between Water here to the oh, hawker screen, hawker screen with water.
the next I always like to start uh, in the middle line like that it can define the two sizes of the leaf So let's see, this looks is ready. So clean my brush, light purple again. Let me just move a little bit this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add first the light purple here. I'm going to clean the excess of the water because I want to control the amount of water. To grab a little bit of the middle middle medium tone tone and I'm going to add here a little bit of this color clean my brush I'm adding water because I want to have this part wet because I need to have it wet for the green so permanent green I'm going to touch the pattern and going down okay so now I can add more light shadows so here I have my medium tone right I can just revisit this part I take out the excess of the paint and I am moving some lines like this with the tip of your brush okay load my brush again just a tip here and a little bit here okay so for this one, I'm going to load again with my medium tone. And first one I want to add it in this part. I'm going to clean my brush, clean water, and I'm dragging the color. Here we need to have lighter because here we have a dark so use your water to move the paint okay this part let's go back clean my brush clean the brush the paint and i'm just moving the color if you feel there is too much water into your brush, remember use your napkin or whatever you're using. Okay. I'm going to grab my small brush. I'm going to use the purple. Let me just add more water to this purple because I want to line, outline this one like this this need to be darker because it's a folding okay so go back to your number two medium tone no light medium and I want to add some shadows in this part and then some lines like this with the tip I'm taking out the excess of the paint. Okay. Again, this part, I'm going to grab my tiny one that it has, I think it still has now. Let's load it again. So 
So I'll go back with a clean brush, number two, the tip. Okay, making some lines. Okay, I'm going to load my brush again with my liner. And this part need to be darker. So be careful, do not touch the one that we just paint. Just go around. Go back to your number two with the water. I'm just controlling the amount of water because I want to move this color like this. Some lines. The same with it here, I want to be doing it here. Yep. Okay, so let me just revisit very fast what we need. A little, maybe more color here to divide these two petals. I'm using water to move the color and to control the amount of paint. Mm -hmm. Let's grab more of this. So yeah, we're working slow and it's better to use color each time that do add enough that you cannot uh, change you know what I mean clean the brush take out excess of the water and move the paint like this okay I think this is ready and it looks for me even better than the one that I did before <laughs> now it's time to paint a carnation for the carnations we're going to be using I'm going to be using now my number six clean my brush and I want to use red so I have here red and I'm going to start using a very light red so what does mean it means that you are going to be adding more water into your paint okay so the first one is going to be here. So we're going to start like adding like a spot, like doodle. I'm going to grab more water because I want to have like lighter. The edges of this flower, you need to have it like irregular, okay? Something like this. then grab a little bit of the red and touch this left side and this bottom part just a little bit here and there okay i'm going to grab a little bit of the violet that we used before with the red to make this violet, rich violet, and come back and just add this color into the left of the flower. Just a little dots. I'm just touching barely gentle. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush, grab again a little bit of the light red that we have here with water. And I'm going to give some dots. Clean my brush. Just touch. 
makes some marks. We can come back later and add more color. I want to add a little more of the red in this part that I like this red. in the edges like this look at this we're inviting the red to come to the party okay so clean my brush and I'm going to paint the next one with the light pink again let's do like a irregular shape Grab some of the red, go in the edges of what you already paint, we're going to add in this side now. And now I'm going to grab my number two round because I want to take advantage that it's still wet. I'm going to grab my green and I'm going to go in the middle in this part to connect with the color. And I'm going to allow the green to go into the red. And with the tip of my brush, I'm going to add a little uh, stem and just tiny leaves. Push and release. I'm going to add three. Okay, so same we're going to do here. The stem, this part of the stem is bigger. More water. some leaves here I'm going to grab a little bit of the hawker green because I want to have this color in this part okay also here now the I'm going to add a bud here it's going to be higher Wind of the red and I'm going to be adding the violet that we have here first in this part before it's dry a little bit and now here I'm going to clean my brush let me just move a little better this color here okay I'm going to clean my brush I'm going to grab the green the sap green I'm going to touch this part and with the tip I'm going to connect the stems and one two and three here one missing one small one Okay, so this part is kind of dry. Just with clean water, I am moving this color even better. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little bit of the red. And I'm going to add some of the shapes of the petals. You need to leave some white um, 
clear areas, okay? Grab some water and do like a doodles. Also here we're missing some of this red and that's it. We have our carnation. The next flower we're going to be is painting a pansy. So for that we're going to be using our blue that we have here. Let me add some water. We're going to be using yellow that we have here, some green that we have already in our palette. Oh, thank you, Carrie. Good to see you here. So for this flower, we are going to find the center. It's going to be here. Then we're going to draw our petals. Center is a little bigger. Mm -hmm. This time it's going to be just one flower. And I'm going to be using my eraser to erase the lines that I don't want. But first I want you guys to be able to see it. Okay, this is a flower. So let's use our navel eraser. And sub the lines. And when we're ready, we're going to use then number six, clean your brush. And what you're going to do is, we're going to start painting these two, and then we're going to be painting these two, and then the, at the end this one, okay? So I'm going to be sure that your brush is clean. That doesn't have red. When it's ready, grab a little bit of the blue and start in the top of the flower, okay? Like this. Then I want you to do this, guys. I want you to grab a little bit, a little piece of paper. I want you to clean your brush and I want you to drag the paint like this. With a tip okay grab again more blue and go in the edge just the edge of the petal touch barely very soft the blue and move it to the center Okay, so let's paint this one. Clean your brush, wet it, grab light blue, and go in the in the bottom in the edge of the bottom of the petal. Clean the brush and move the paint like this. Okay, correct the point again, grab more of the blue and go 
is the outline. If you can even go outside, even better. And just move the paint. With the tip of the bristle. Okay? So now we're going to be painting this this one. So this time I wanna clean my brush. You can wait this to get dry hundred percent. That is going to be easier. Or you can just go the way I'm going to be doing it. Grab light blue. Now we're not going to be wetting first. I'm going to go with the light blue. And I'm going to be going around, but I'm not going to be, I'm going to come close, but without touching it. Okay. Like this, you will control more the area that is wet. Now grab the blue. Go around. Clean your brush. And drag the paint again with less water the edge I can even go a little bit outside the line clean the brush and drag the paint going to clean my brush okay so clean the brush again grab a little bit of the light blue let's paint this one first here light blue and then I'm going to come close enough but without touching it more blue in the edge clean the brush and drag the paint and before it's drying get go back with the blue that is like a darker now like with less water and go in the edge clean the excess of the paint And drag the paint okay let's keep moving guys clean water light blue close enough but without touching the other petals a little bit of the blue like a medium blue Clean the brush. Clean the brush. We want to see <coughs> lines of the color. Grab more blue and go a little outside of the line. This time like a darker blue. Going to clean the brush. And drag the paint. Mm -hmm. So this is dry already. And what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to grab a little bit of the blue again, like a medium blue. I'm going to add this like blue shape this area is very like specific from these flowers like a heart but inverse something like this 
So I'm going to change my liner now to grab more blue, more intense blue now, clean the excess because I want to make these little lines. So what I'm going to do is to drag the paint with the tip of my brush like the veins and this part need to be darker so I'm going to grab more of the color like this. So the next one is going to be this part. Using my liner to make these thin thin lines. This part needs to be darker so I'll go back grab the darker blue and add some touches then I'm going to move I'm going to move a little bit my paper just to be able to um, make these lines so there are the veins so if I need to use more paint, I go back and load my brush again. Just with a light blue. You want to have like a shadows of the veins. Okay, so let's go back and add shadow to this part. darker blue in the and where is the pistols close to the pistols and then light blue to make these veins grab more blue intense blue in my brush make some strokes go back and now these two instead to have in this part I'm going to add it in the top I was starting these flowers and some of them are like that so yeah So then, with the light blue, let's add some veins. And most of the veins need to be like finishing in this part. to grab more of the color and add some strokes in all this area here I want to add more darker blue I'm going to clean my brush because this petal is in front of this one, so it's important to define this part. Okay, so now the next one, the edge. I'm going 
going to just flip a little bit the page careful because this part is wet just doing some strokes first then I'm going to grab water and add some like light blue and drag the paint to paint these uh, veins okay so now I'm going to clean my brush very well I'm going to grab some of the yellow that I have here with water clean water and I want to add some of the dots of yellow in the center I notice, and we're going to do this a little later that some parts the yellow go into the uh, petals but I want to be like slow I need this part to get dry okay so here we need to define if we want to add like a darker area in this part that that's what we want and for that I want to add a little bit of our paints gray going to add a little bit of paint gray here before the blue just a little bit okay I'm going to grab a little bit of water grab a little bit of the paint gray just a little bit and grab a little bit of the blue okay because I want to add very intense color in this part to clean my brush I'm going to change it for the small one number two grab some green sub green and I'm going to add the stamp so here we have a bud for that, I want to grab yellow first. Some green, sub green again. Clean the brush. I'm just mixing the sub green here to have this area with yellow and now I'm going to grab a little bit of the hawker's green and to the right side I'm going to clean my brush grab some of the hawker's green with water and I'm going to paint a leaf here so we want this leaf to be a little bigger so i'm going to erase this part to have enough space here okay so this is how i do it so i'm building this leaf using water and moving the paint mixing the, the color I use a little bit of sub green and I'm using a little bit again of the hawker's green because I want to connect these colors I'm going to make a line you now the steel is wet 
give some color to this leaf. Cleaning the color in my napkin. And I'm going to wait this to be dry. Um, to add more paints into the leaf, okay? So here, I am missing something. I'm going to add just a little bud. Tiny one here. And another one here. I'm going to change the brushes. Use here my hawker screen. Let's see, this is not dry. We need to wait a little bit. So with the same brush that we used before, that is the number two, I wanna grab a little, clean the brush, I wanna grab a little bit of the yellow. This is dry. And the yellow need to be w with m more water because you want to have like a lighter yellow, right? And I wanna just add some, these lines in the yellow. Just like this, very soft and gentle. Now, here we have the orange. Let's grab a little bit of the orange. Just adding water. And I'm going to be using my liner. Clean your brush and grab a little bit of the orange. And add some dots. So these are the pistols. Okay, so this is still is wet, so let's just revisit this part. If you want to go back and add more of the blue, this is a good time just to revisit your paint. How you want it, you want to have more color, you want to leave it alone. in my brush because I want to move this color okay here we want to have like a straight blue just adding some strokes Okay, so I want to add some of my, I have here the burnt amber, but for with this I'm going to grab a little bit of the paints gray. I'm going to add some dots and allow them to mix with the orange. I think this is ready, so let's go back with the hawker screen. I had water because I want to have it not that like strong color, so I need to add more water here. And I can add some lines water yeah 
just add some lines with the tip of my brush and with a light color Here I want just to correct these lines. Oops, too heavy. Use your water. Okay. So we're ready to paint the dahlia. Woohoo! So we're here let me just move the page i'm going to do a zoom out so that you guys can see more okay so for the dahlia i'm going to be using again my number two and this time we're going to be using the orange i have here the orange so i'm adding water into the orange to have this light orange you can even grab a little piece of the yellow just to make this light bright orange but remember add water because we want to have it lighter okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start adding the petals so we're going to be building we're going to be building from the background of the petals that are lighter then the middle color and then the darker color okay so let's do it and i'm going to move a little bit my page and i'm going to start like adding just strokes long strokes push and release see just long strokes So, but the, if you see the picture, all the petals are facing this side and we are going to just have like a, just a line. That means we're not going to add in this part of the bottom, okay? So this is the background. And in this part, we need to wait to get dry to have a very clear um, strokes. It's very important. So what we're going to do, as we're waiting this to get dry, I'm going to be using my hair dryer to make it faster, okay? I'm coming back. Okay, I'm back and we're going to go back with the same brush and now I'm going to add more orange to have a medium color, okay, no other color. And we're going to keep building the petals. So in between, I'm going to be adding. So everything is going to like to uh, meet in this part, okay?
Okay, so I need to dry it. Okay, I'm back, same brush. Now we're going to use more of the red, but this time I wanna introduce a new color. That is a nickel color that is a kind of a, like a orange, but a little more like a darker orange. I'm going to add it here, just a little bit, because we want to have the center with orange, but a little bit of this nickel as well. So I'm adding water first. And I am adding into the orange that I have it here. Just mix the colors here. And I'm going to see if this is enough orange. Yes, it is. So all your pearls need to have movement, okay? So try to make different sizes, different directions. I'm going to move a little bit like this one is facing down And we need to dry it again. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to grab more of this orange, a little bit of the nickel here because we want to have, this is our last, last color so we need to be sure that something is happened so we need to have a darker color so I want to grab a little bit of the paints gray let me just, just a little bit. But we need to be careful because it can be like a muddy color. So just be careful. And mixing the orange. Mm -hmm. And just the last part. And just a few. We don't need too many. Just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my green my lighter green that is the sub green with water and I want to connect this part and allow the colors to mix and make a straight line light color and I'm going to make the leaves A little bit of the hooker screen in the top and in the bottom. Clean your brush. Okay, again, light green. And I'm going to make another one here. A little bit of the hooker screen. And if your paper is getting dry, don't worry, add the water. And 
and the third one Okay, that's your Dahlia and now we're going to be uh, painting the cosmos in purple so we have our purple here going to add water to have a light purple still I'm going to be using the same brush so first I'm going to um, place the biggest petal that is going to be this one okay and grab a little bit of the purple with less water and just touch the bottom okay I'm going to just move this part with my brush that is wet so now I'm going to grab the second one and I'm going to add the second petal and again a little bit of the purple Clean your brush. I'm going to be connecting the petal like this. So the next one, purple. Clean my brush. We're going to add another one here. When you see that is too much, remember, don't worry. Just wash your brush, clean water, and swap the color. important part is that we don't need to get panic the next petal is going to be a thin one something like this be careful do not touch it do not touch the petals the bottom part is fine it's okay and the next one is going to be a big one little bit of the dark purple and just water the light the last one is is two two parts so what the first part is light and it's going to be like this okay so now I'm going to grab a little, clean your brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of my yellow and I'm going to go in the center and it's okay if the yellow connect with the purple. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of my burnt amber and I'm going to touch a little bit with the tip of my brush some that, okay? grab sub green touch the button and go straight like this and for the lips going to be like small push and small okay and we're going to have here a, a bat so let's paint first the bat with light purple it's a little like fatty here I think a little bit of the darker purple on the bottom 
now grab some of the subgreen and connect it and it's okay that the green get mixed it's fine so here I'm going to add some just lines like this just add uh, taking out some of the water this is ready so I'm going to clean my brush grab some of the purple like this time medium purple because you want to make this shape this petal is folding something like this okay so grab your liner add some light light purple let's start how light we can add it's better to start with lighter color and then move to darker one and just make some lines like this just like swapping a little bit the color to have it lighter in this part okay so this is our Cosmo and now it's time for our rose so for the rose we're going to be using as well the the pink that we used before that is our permanent pink and I'm going to be still using my number two so what I'm going to do first is to prepare my color let's prepare the color with a bigger and I'm going to be cleaning this part I don't want the color to get mixed with the orange okay adding some water to the pink okay I have here my light pink And I'm going to make like a medium pink okay so it's going to be first this is okay you can you see that okay so I'm going to add a dot and then I'm going to start like uh, working around the shapes like a C's letter C and broken lines okay in the middle you can add more color but then you're going to start adding water to your brush and more outside the center you are the lightest of the petals need to be so more water okay this is one and I'm going to add a bud three, three, three buds one is going to be here very light and darker pink in the top clean your brush just move the darker pink like this you can even add a little more of the darker pink still is wet so just a little bit of the darker pink in the middle okay another but it's going to be here let's add another one here darker pink in the top and the last one and darker pink in the top okay now go back and add use your liner with the sap green and the bottom of your flowers add some stems okay. 
and if this one is dry I'm not panicking because I'm going to be adding water just wet everything again okay go back to your regular brush and we're going to be that is number two adding some leaves Connecting the leaves to the stem. Simple, okay? So for the big one, so I'm going to go and add the biggest, big, a little bigger, the stem. And I'm going to add a, a one single leave here okay a little bit of the hooker's green Let me add some water to the tattoo some lines okay we can add more little leaves here and there just to decorate the composition to have it better so I'm going to just add one here we can have another one here the idea is to play around the rows So I think I almost done guys. I'm going to just be revisiting if I am missing something. But basically this is what I want to be sharing with you today guys. So uh, do you have a, a comment? Do you have a question? Now is a good time for you to ask any question. Please let me know. Let me just this video is going to stay in YouTube channel and the letter the only thing that we were missing let me do a zoom out was the letters let me just clean this so what you're going to be doing later when everything is dry you need to erase the lines of the pencil and then add some of the nom uh, names of the flowers so here in this one, what I did, I use just um, a Sharpie. Let me show you the Sharpie that I use. I use this Sharpie that is a uni, uni ball. Just with first with pencil and then um, I add the, the black Sharpie, okay? So let me check your comments. You're working, Jenny. Good, I'm so glad that you, you was following let me off the palette like that we will have more space to show you this and also this one okay so here here you have guys 
the two the two paintings so yes you can see um, it's a little different as well the strokes that I did one to another one but th the main idea is is the one that I shared with you guys I'm just trying to move stuff around like that you can have better view okay so yes so this is it I um, think we have everything done here yes everything is done and I want to share with you like here the rose has different composition than this one than even this one so you can see how <laughs> the three three pictures are different there you have if you want to do a screenshot you can do a screenshot like that you will have it for you and you can even print it and color to have it like a, a reference picture okay thank you so much for coming today guys i really appreciate it. and if you like this video please uh, give me a like a thumbs up and if you make a comment that will be awesome because like that youtube will show to more people and that will be great because i can you can help me to grow up this channel and i and also i can share more what i know and my passion to others okay guys thank you again and have a good one and let's catch up what we love to do that is painting share with me your process and share with me the final uh, painting that you will be done in facebook groups okay love you guys have a good one bye bye thank you carrie okay so please share with me okay see you guys Bye-bye.